want to go to the other side. Yeah, yeah. We never hit up this other side. We'll get a change of scenery on this nice map. As far as nice map, I mean, it's, it's not a friendly map. It's definitely a bit of an ugly map. Like, as far as just how painful it is, and there's really not great places to take cover. But, aesthetically, it's nice. Look at the clouds, look at the sky, look at that big cannon. Uh, Andy, what you trying to do? Uh, you just gotta, oh, oh, the trade-off thing. It's, it's weird. Ha! So, apparently there's a term for that, Maruna. My, my brother's been telling me this, because, like, I'll run and jog until I'm exhausted, my ribs hurt, and I just, like, can't. And then I walk for a bit until I can, until I feel good enough to keep going and running. And then I keep going there. Apparently the term is called fart licking. Fart licking. It's weird, a weird term. All right, we all good to go? All right, and go. So we've got to go ahead and throw down. I'm going to just throw down uh, two decoys on each side. I got 4K. So then we've got a turret as well. There we go. Uh, who wants the turret first? I think... What would be smartest is if I throw down a turret on this side for whoever wants it. Turret Turrets deployed. here in the back. Um, but all right, so we've got Confident coming in as our scout. We've got the Reach Beast as our sniper. And he's going to be a heavy. Potato's going to be a heavy. And I'm going to be our engineer. A build that I've been uh, I've been curious. I, I've actually had on the to-do list for a long time, and I forgot about it. And bringing it back uh, is just basically getting a turret out for everybody. And this kind of is like... This was the traditional build in a way. Like back in the days of launch horde uh, of Gears 4, you built just like, you just got everybody a turret. You got a few sentries here and there, get a, as many barricades and uh, decoys as you can get out. Um, and you just spam turrets. And I'm kind of just trying that again. The, the second round attempt of it of sorts. You don't run. Well, see like, I guess I don't know, like, I struggle with the differences between jogging and running, because, I mean, it's either I can walk and I can I can keep up a walking pace for, like, ever. Like, walking doesn't really tire me. But then when I run, it, like, it does, there never seems to be a point when I'm slow enough that I can just handle, like, where, like, my breathing just gets heavy and painful regardless. And also, Spectre, I didn't say hi to you. How you doing today? Got a chat for you to conversation. Exactly, Spectre. Let's see, like, that's what's nice about having a chat is like, you know, I could Google things and find things out, but you guys will tell me the answer beforehand, and and that's nice, and I like it. Um, as far as my build for this setup goes, I'm running the turret discount, and like, I'm not running anything else. Tur like, turret health really doesn't serve much of a purpose. Um, it's there, but like, you don't really need it that much. Yeah, Roy, what's good, Glitch? How you doing today? Although, you came in just to be disappointed that we're not doing the center build, because, you know, we, we tried that. <laughs> Didn't pan out exactly. Um, I've got decoy cost, decoy health, repair boost, and build cost. My usual build, just swapping out overclock for turret discounts. It's like a measured pace. Like I, I can, I'm starting to try and find a running pace of sorts. Like there's, I, I notice if I'm running, I want to lean for. Like if I'm running hard, I want to lean forward, and like really pump my arms super heavy and stuff. Uh, you know, and basically, I want to put my hands behind my back and Naruto run because that's how the bullets are going to avoid us, right? Um, but also, <clears throat> but also. Uh, like, I, if I'm jogging, my back ends up getting a bit straighter. I, I slow down quite a bit, and I almost put, like, a little bit more of a spring in my step of sorts. And it seems to, like, I, I'm able to pace out my breathing a little bit better. But that's, like, I've always been bad at running, and, like, this is the first time ever in my life that I've been able to run consistently one whole mile. Like, I've always been the fat kid. I've always been really bad at running. And that's why my soccer team put me as the freaking midfielder, which if you play soccer or football, like, you know, not American football, then uh, you know that midfielders usually run the most. So, you know, put the fat kid in that role. That's smart. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a great idea. Great idea. Um, <laughs> but anyway, sorry, I, I rambled a little bit. But now I'm starting to like, I'm starting to get addicted to running and starting to get this rolling. And it's kind of excited. It could, it could have worked. One of these days, we'll have to try out, like, the center glory build again. It might be more one that I... Maybe if we don't do full-on turrets and we just, like, kind of... 
we go a little bit more normalized in a way, you know? Like, if we have the drop shots and we're just unloading with a bunch of weapons lockers, I think that overall will probably serve a little bit better. All right, so this one's already getting thrown into some fire, so I'm just going to put that back there. And then let's go ahead and get some barricades out. Oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. The only part of me that's good at running is my nose. Oh my god, that was Chucky. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Chucky in the Rugrats video game for the PlayStation. Was that Rugrats the search for Reptar, dude? Because, like, I adored that game. And that that's... Even somebody mentioning it is enough of an excuse for me to go find my disc. All right, all right, that's it, guys. We got to stop the gear stream. I'm doing a Rugrats stream here. It's how it, we got to get this. We got to get this rolling. <laughs> I, I am so down to play through that game at some point. And people are going to be like, I'm going to have it miscategorized in Gears 4. And people are going to come in and go, Cherry, what's this? I don't get this game. I, I, I'm guessing all of you guys have Brooklyn accents. Um, What what are you guys, what are you doing here? This ain't Gears. Come on, man. Come on, man. Game was amazing. I freaking love that game so much. <laughs> I, I've, I played that game more than any human being rightfully should have. And it was great. It was so good. Yeah, there were parts that were genuinely scary. Like, the, there was a mission where you were... You were Tommy and you were outside of the crib and you had to... You had to, like, shine... Fly. It was almost Alan Wake, basically. It was, it was basically Alan Wake and Rugrats. Where you had to shine the light on these ghosts to make them disappear and stuff and kind of conquer the fears. Because the, the, the... That's right. The power went out. And, or the power went out. It was like the pilot light or whatever. And, uh, you had to get to the fridge because the fridge always had a light in it. That's right. That's right. Oh, my God. Oh, I really miss that game. Like, if you guys can't see the nostalgia boner, it, it's, it's out. <laughs> what did your dad's drill sergeant do back to the base? My dad was really scrawny and died. The drill sergeant made him carry the M60. Isn't that the best? <laughs> did, did it help make him get built, though? He probably got a little swole from that. You're not a Rugrat? I was. I was a Rugrat kid. Growing up, that, like... It was that shit, like... I forget the exact sequence. If it was, like... I would watch Pokemon on, uh, what? Fox or whatever. It was, like, Fox for kids or whatever. Then go and watch, like... Go and have dinner. After dinner... You get Hey Arnold, and you get Rugrats, and you get, like, The Amanda Show, and all that, and uh, The Cosby Show, or Kids Say the Darndest Things, which, hindsight's 2020 now, um, on that, but that was, like, that was my whole evening of just watching TV, and you get, like, 7 o'clock, you get a big old bowl of Cheez-Its or Goldfish, and you just, you just marathon for the whole evening. Those evenings were awesome. I miss those days. I might cry on stream because the, the nostalgia there. WB Kids, yeah, that was it. I, I couldn't remember what it was. I'm like, it, it was something involving kids and I felt like it was on a Fox TV station. This come. was also during a time when I uh, I didn't, we didn't have like any official cable. We had like, we had the cable of like 26 channels that just kind of came through. And I'm trying to sound old, but like I, I did live through a point in life when I only had three channels, though. So I can say that. Back in my day, I only had three channels. I can say that. Okay, I gotta get these boys leveled up to level two. Here, get off. Get off. There you go. Enjoy. Original Doug. I know, Doug was like, Doug was always on really early. Like, I think it was like 4 p.m. or something like that. There you go. It, it, it refills ammo, right? Okay, cool. I was gonna say, it better. Scooby-Doo and Spongebob. Uh, so, well, okay, Tommy, you were a little bit younger than me, so that makes sense. Um, on my dad's side, like, my mom and dad have been divorced most of my life. Um, on my dad's side, we took that time to watch Cartoon Network. Why? I don't know. Like, it just, we just had the division. So, like, I would watch Ed and Nettie, Dexter's Lab, Codename Kids Next Door, uh, Cow and Chicken... That was when I couldn't get into Powerpuff Girls because it was too girly for, uh, you know, where we live. Um, went back and watched it later in life, and I'm like, yeah, this show is pretty great. I, it's pretty fantastic. But, um, watch Cartoon Network there. The Johnny Bravo. Yo, my dad loved Johnny Bravo. And that's what, that's part of the reason, like, I love my dad. It was like, me and him would mutually love the same things. He's like, 
Yo, yo, we're gonna watch some Flintstones. Not because you want to watch it, because I want to watch it. <laughs> I couldn't get into Powerpuff Girls back in the day. Like that—that that was a point in my life when I was like, "It's too girly, man. Can't handle it. Give me, give me some, some dude stuff. Give, give me the manly thing." And that's where Johnny Bravo came in. Oh god. Oh god. Courage the Cowardly Dog was also amazing. Yep, absolutely. And, but then on my mom's side, it was all Nickelodeon, like all the time. There was there was a short period of Disney in there too, um, like in preteen time. But that's been about that was about it. And yeah, Decoy. you know, I, I can definitely tell it was preteen time because I was I, I liked the show Kim Possible, and I cannot tell you what a single episode was about. Yeah, 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 yep, yep, yep. I'm remembering that. I couldn't do Sailor Moon back in the day. I, I bet you if I went back, I'd, I'm, I might enjoy it. I don't know. It, it probably has some of that like hokey. Was that was that early '90s or late '80s? Uh, like anime humor and stuff, maybe. Boy Meets World a tiny bit. There was there was also a time period for Malcolm in the Middle as well. Now that I'm thinking that too. Call me, beat me. If you want to reach me, if you want to reach me, that's okay. Whenever you need me, beat me. I got you. I, I was I was paying attention this time, Potato. I got you. Ooh, but like it, I'm trying to think of when the uh, oh Andy, I'm sorry, man. I was over here repairing and I wasn't paying attention to revives. I'm trying to think of when I started falling off of cartoons and stuff like that. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Hey, just pick me up real quick. All right, let's fire. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have a turret back here. So how will we do this? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just throw this in the back. Turret you guys deployed. are all good there. All right. I'm going to kind of throw this at a weird angle and make sure we're safe there. I'm going to throw down a couple decoys. Help out my case there. Decoy deployed. Um, shoot. There was another show I was going to mention. Like, I watched Jimmy Neutron back in the day. Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, there was yeah. a lot of uh, SpongeBob. I mean, I still watch. <laughs> like they got what they got up to season five on Amazon Prime. By the way, anybody that's got the Twitch Prime logo, like definitely. Yeah. Oh, yo, Nova, is that new Invader Zim? Is it out on Netflix? Like, I think it's coming out soon. Cause I, oh, that's actually coming in a really good time. Cause I, I really could use a new show to watch, and that's perfect. But how you doing today, Nova? Welcome. It is out. Oh God, guys, I gotta stop the stream. I gotta go. <laughs> I haven't watched Invader Zim in forever. Oh my god. And that that was like a part of that was the beginning of my like uh YouTube career back in the day with the little Kingdom Hearts video that I made. I dubbed a lot of Gur quotes in there. Uh you need me to you need me to refill this sucker for you? Yeah, okay, okay. This is where he's standing and I I like that angle. I'm going to go and try and help him out with that. Yeah, Jimmy Neutron was originally a movie, then it was a TV show. Um, it was, it was not long after that, that I started fading out. I'm trying to think of shows like shows that I missed out on that people say were good would be like Gravity Falls. There's like uh, Chowder. There's shows like that on Cartoon Network. What were some Nickelodeon shows that came out? Like, I mean, Drake and Josh, I watched. Oh, you know what? The iCarly was the line. Cause like I watched Drake and Josh could not get into iCarly. Like that, that is, that is the definition of the line. That was like, nah, I can't do it. Played Miranda Cosgrove's song on Rock Band, but other than that, nah, 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 I can't do it. And Carl A. Plutonian gut chunks, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Andy, no. All right, I gotta get barricades, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna spam the living crap out of decoys on this side. Victorious? Yeah, I missed out on Victorious. I remember when Cartoon Network would do Friday night stuff in the summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although then it was like. Given I was always cautious because I was like, I don't want to be here for Adult Swim. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Yo, could this guy? Okay, thank you. I was going to say, I just need him to go down. Or they had the number 1800 number to win. No, I don't remember. I don't remember that. Zoe 101. Couldn't get much into that either. Yeah, that was definitely... That, that's where the line was for me with like Nickelodeon where I stopped like I stopped really watching as much Yo, like in teenage time I watched tons of adult swim because like family guy Futurama and stuff like that You know, you were up late if you were getting like 
Inuyasha Home Movies, I think is what it was called, and uh, uh, Ghost, Ghost, whatever his name was. I can't remember what it's called. But you like, or, oh, and like, if you got a bit of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, I'm like, I'm up too late. I must be having insomnia. Oh crap. There's Aqua Teen. There's that milkshake. I don't know anything about this show. But I know a lot of the Gears community loved it because like half of my friends in Gears One days had, uh, had like something from Aqua Teen as their profile picture. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a drop just shot just to help out the cause. I'm fueling the- oh no. Oh, damn it. Okay. I got another turret back here for you. Here, take this. Did he just- okay. I was gonna get real sad real quick. Uh, did this need more ammo in it? I'm doing a bad job of uh, maintaining stuff. Hey, what's up, Plot? How you doing today? Got the shot on. We're still Mechanicsburg. What for? I'll take that kill, thank you kindly. All right, all right. This is refilled. Here, I will steal your kills until you keep using the turrets. I demand it. <laughs> Go ahead and throw down another turret here. Yeah, I'll just build turrets with backups then, I guess. So like, we'll just have a few turrets in the back and this is what having turret discounts can do for you. There we go. You're in Mechanicsburg for two weeks. Holy crap. I mean, it sounds, it sounds nice. Discovered the Loud House. Wait, I don't know what the Loud House is. What is that? But all right. That was wave 10. We died a decent bit there. Cleaning your grandma's apartment. Huh. Huh. That doesn't sound too bad. Given, I think I'm, like I said in the last match, I'm like, I'm really just in the mood to travel. So like any of that sounds great. <laughs> that sounds like really appealing. Okay, so. Keep up the good work. I gotta go ahead and barricade the heck out here. And, well, I, actually, I need to decoy the heck out. Bring out some Minecraft. Dude, I was I was never a guy of Minecraft. That's like, I, my friends started playing it. And I'm like, I'm gonna play some Halo Reach while you guys are playing this game. I'm gonna go ahead and play some Gears 2 campaign while you're playing this. Like going over to friend's house, that, that, was, that was a dividing time in my life. Versus the last time, like, I thought I was going get, to get addicted to Minecraft when I went there, and it never happened. On the flip side, the last time it happened was with Guitar Hero. They're like, hey, man, we got Guitar Hero. You want to play it? I'm like, I, I bet you if I go over there, I don't like Guitar Hero, but I bet you I'm going to get addicted to it. Sure enough, it was like pure cocaine. Got immediately addicted to that game. Minecraft, not as much. I respect it. I, I appreciate it for what it is. Couldn't get into it. Here, let me go ahead and give you a quick refill here. Turret. I got you, dog. Turret reloaded. Okay. So, what else do I need to build here? Uh, I gotta go and revive Reach oh, here. Bobby. Got you. It's a show on Nickelodeon in season four. Yeah, I have no idea what the Loud House is, but all right, I'll have to I'll have to take a look at a trailer or preview and stuff like that. I I do really really miss old school Nickelodeon, just like. The weird sense of humor, the, the 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 unique art styles and animations and stuff like that. I really miss so much of that. Part of the reason why I loved Hey Arnold so much is like the the vibe that it gave, the jazziness to it, the art style and everything. Like God, even going back to it as a full grown adult, it's still astonishing how good it is. Or like God, the episode with Pigeon Man. It it, it can still bring tears. It still has feels like. Ugh. Man, I miss that. I'm, I'm on a nostalgia binge. Fane, how you doing today, man? How you be? I really am. Like, before the stream, I was playing Gears 2 Horde. Uh, we're talking about all these cartoons that we used to watch back in the day. Talking about some classic games like Rugrats. Uh, the Search for Reptar. Oh, man. Oh, man. Full-blown nostalgia. <laughs> Full-blown nostalgia trip. I love it. So wait, when are you heading back out, Blood, from uh, out outside of Mechanicsburg? Okay, so I gotta see. He's not really building out here that much, so I'm just gonna start spamming more decoys right in the middle here. I think he's gonna get a little overloaded there as is, and we'll just we'll just take it from there. Uh, how are we doing ammo wise? How are we doing barricade wise? Uh, did your song not play? Uh, Sailor Moon opening did play. Where the song cue's clear. Here, I got you with that. 
once we hit level three and that's what i'm like i'm spamming stuff as hard as i can right now just so we get to level three uh you good there all right go ahead and get some weapons lockers i'm trying to hold off on building any sentries though i think we can just do without but we'll we'll see how that goes as we go along um decoys i think the right side could use a couple decoys and a couple barricades decoy deployed yeah that'll do us nicely cool cool pick up there we go oh um uh, there it goes all right thank you thank you about to drink some g fuel and sour cherry nice nice and still congrats on winning that by the way and ruina thank you again for giving giving faint the access to some g fuel which uh, can i ask you though uh, faint how how are you feeling from them like do you notice yourself having any trouble sleeping at night or anything like that because that that's that was the case with me and it's sad because i really love the taste of g fuel and all their flavors are so creative and they sponsor so many streamers and i'd love to be a part of it but i'm like listen i I'm not going to, if if I'm doing sponsorships, I'm not going to get behind a product I don't use and like fully go. believe in. And if it jacks me up, I'm like, ah, it's, it's it's my Achilles heel of working with them, you know? It's unfortunate. Say it. Another half and you can go home. Okay, okay. Uh, what else do I need to build out? Yo, we got 22,000 power? Dang, I don't know when we got that spare. Yeah, I'm scattering these all to the wind on this side. Like, this side's a lot less organized. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and build, and like, let's let's build a little bit of a safety net of barricades as well. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant, but just, you know, we're spending money. There we go, there's the level three I'm looking for. Okay, so, oh, oh, Andy, Andy really needs some <laughs> refueling here. I got you, dude. Oh, yeah. I got you, dude. There you go. Got Enjoy. That's also something I keep trying to do. Like, if I if I miss ammo, then I'll just try and get it on a full a full swinging update, like a full upgrade of everything. Uh, can I? Not yet. I need a little bit more power, which we should get from maybe like another wave or two. And I was mentioning this earlier, and I'm I'm definitely feeling the effects of it now. Uh, Glory's one of these maps that you don't have an easy time on anywhere like even these sides like we have this really safe spot in the middle but if we're not in the middle like you have this piece of cover that enemies can shoot around real easily like it, it's it's not there's no super easy spot to hang out like clock tower and stuff like that it's a little it's a little tricky yeah no but that's what i'm saying um she, she printed an email she sent and saved them in manila full oh 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 no you're organizing sent emails that have been printed out. Oh no. I plot God bless, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That sounds like a task. Again, I kinda I kinda don't mind I, I wouldn't mind doing it as much these days. <laughs> but still, I can I can feel the agony of doing that. If it was like if it took if it took a few hours to get sorting through fly. sent emails that have been printed out. Oh man, <laughs> that's next level. Okay, so how much power are we getting from Confident here? Okay, that's enough, that's enough. Get off, thank you. <laughs> 8,220, easy peasy. I was really hoping that drop shot wouldn't kill him and it didn't, I'm, I'm, I'm relaxed. You had over eight trash bags of clothing, man. Although I gotta do, I gotta clean out a little bit of my, uh, clothing as well since i've like there's definitely those shirts that i'm never going to get this fat again in my life type of feel i, I think i definitely want to get rid of some shirts there and uh probably just some shirt like i have a lot of shirts that are like too beat up to even like if i was going to go out painting with like in their black t-shirts and i wanted to paint white i wouldn't wear them because there's that ripped and torn up i'm gonna look like i just came from like a strip joint or something like that i i, I gotta get rid of some clothes <laughs> All the emails are passive aggressive. <laughs> okay, that's just funny. That sounds kind of awesome. But yeah, glory on the end at least. It seems to be going smoother. Like we've got we got a few more downs and deaths between us, but Suppression. so far, I mean, what? Me and Reach are sitting deathless, which is great. Uh, actually, oh wait, Potato did. Uh, Confident died that one round, which is fine. Yeah, we're we're doing all right. We're doing all right. 
I I have big shirts that I wear as sweep sleep shirts, Maruna. It's just not not those ones, because like I, for example, there's a really old Dragon right, Force shirt, because you know I was like I gotta support the brand, you know, like I do for Cherry Quench, because my name back in the day for Gears One was Dragon Force Ten, which if anybody recognizes that name Turns from back up, in the day, sub dog, Decoy how you doing? There. Shoutouts to my friend William Street back in the day, Mr. T747, uh, Immortal One. Uh, who else was in that? Who else was in that uh, list? Paper Boy, Paper Ten Boy. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, <laughs> getting, getting some of the OG Gears fam that I had back in the day. If any of them watch my videos, then yo, what's up? I'm still playing Gears. Uh, <laughs> But uh, what was I saying? Gotcha. Yeah, like I have this Dragon Force shirt and it's got a hole that got ripped on like right in the center of the back. Like if you had to go scratch your back and it's as far back as you can reach, like right there. And it's just this big gaping hole on the back of it. And I like, I can't. Like it feels so weird to lay down on that shirt that's so ripped apart. Oh, we're on a boss wave. I, never mind, Carrier's dead. Good stuff, guys. Good work, Potato. And uh, what, Potato and, uh, Reach Beast on the other side, killing it. Andy's doing pretty well. How are we doing, Kill What? Actually, Andy's crushing it. Andy's demolishing it. Holy crap. He's got the most deaths, but he's, he's twice, he's glass cannoning right now. Holy crap. Makes me proud. Makes me real proud. Let's go ahead and get some of these barricades. Hot high fived up. And if I can keep these level two barricades up as long as I can, that'd be great. Still sleep with clothes on. I, I can't do the whole sleeping in the new thing, man. Like I, I get it. It seems it seems ideal, uh, and it just it just feels weird to me. I don't know, man. Some people do it, and like more power to you. Cool beans. Uh, I just I just can't do it. <laughs> Sour cherry's good. Yeah, I. I, I'm gonna have to try out the flavor one of these days. Like for any of these days that I wake up at like four in the morning, those would be perfect if I just got like a few flavor packets. Okay. Man, all right, waves seem to be rolling fast too. I only have five kills? Yo, that, I'm a true support engineer. Look at me go. Fortification repaired. The Gears community would be so proud. Look at you, Cherry. You're not kill hogging anymore. Grouch what somewhere is crying with joy. Gra or what? Grouch, uh, Mr. Tulu, I'm Ott, and uh, and Birdie. I know there were several matches where I would be the engineer, and I didn't know any better, so I would just spam uh, an absolute ton of sentries. Maruna spam sentries because uh, she's and she enjoys it. You know, that's just fun. You know, that's that's your opinion. <laughs> but me, I didn't know any better at that time. So I just spam sentries because I was afraid. They, they'll they'll look back on me and they'll just smile and they'll give me that kind of that face, you know, the Cherry's done it. He's truly become a support engineer. It only took until the very end of Gears of War to get there. Or Gears of War 4, I should say, excuse me. Uh, here, let me go ahead and get this refill for you. I'm sorry, sir. Did you need a refill on your Diet Coke? Yeah, if you could be a little bit snappier about it. All right, sir. I'll get right on that. My apologies for the inconvenience. God. And let me know if you guys need any more breadsticks. And, you know, they're just sitting there and their faces are stuffed. Um. <laughs> Even though I can tell that, you know, they just came from church. It's Sunday. I know they're not going to give me a tip. <laughs> Here you go. Not it's it's ready. It's ready. It's ready. Need to find another place. Here, take your turn. <laughs> uh, how is Andy doing? On oh, wait, you know what? I have not. Uh, I haven't checked on any of his stuff in a while. Let's go ahead and just get a care package ready for him. That's the only thing. Like, I I'm really bad at monitoring the lines when I use the TACOM. So I just kind of like base it off of time. I'm like, it has been a while since I've thrown out any replacements of anything on his side. So he's got to be due. And I was right. Like, it's, I, I'm, I'm realizing it's been like probably two or three waves since I've done any, any sort of maintenance on his side. So let's go ahead and start moving some of this stuff over. I'll throw down barricades first so I can slow down the enemies. Even though I should focus more on decoys first. Although, where are they coming from on like... I'm guessing more of them are coming on the staircase side here, if I had to guess. 
Because if they go in the center, then Potato's got a really good shot at killing them as well. All right, there we go. Yeah, this is going this is going smooth. Although, what wave did we end up like? We failed at wave like 20 to 23 when it was me and Glitch on Wednesday. So like, I, I got, I'm gonna keep my guard up and I'm just gonna keep keep throwing down resources as best as I can. Okay, I'm gonna go and get, I'm gonna get probably like another decoy or two on his side and just kind of make a big old smiley face of security here for him. Oh man, it might as well, might as well just cover all the bases. Just give him, just give him this barricade. Good dodge. Although here, you, you need some. I'm really hoping he's got that boom shot. Okay, I saw Reach Beast killing a boom shot. That's a relief. I, I'm getting like just sitting here like, please don't let that boom shot just double down both of us. It'll suck. Oh, oh. okay, I couldn't do it. And he's dead. Oh crap, that's what I was worried about. Oh no, oh no. Confident? Okay, okay, I see a few people getting back up on the other side. We're all good. They're all coming to save us. Woo, we all went down real fast and that got real scary real quick. Okay. I'm gonna move that at the at the end of the wave. I'm good. I'm, it's just gonna sit there and it's gonna chill out. Uh, all the while, I'm just gonna replace this guy. Oh no! Confident went down. Andy's down. Uh, I'm gonna go and get Andy here. Go 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 go. go. I got you, and you go ahead and get confident, and we're all good. All right. I think I'm gonna throw my hand in the ring here and fight a little bit. Uh, how are you on ammo? You're all good on ammo. How is other side on ammo? Uh, okay, he needs a little bit of a refill. I think he moved it back just for safety's sake. Just going and refilling everybody's cokes. Make sure everybody's nice and re-nourished. There we go. There we go. Potatoes down. I, I, I can't. I can't even drop this. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I got. Oh. I thought the wave was like half done. I was ready to keep bat a battling through that. Okay. But potato, your sentry is or your turret's all good to go. It's already refilled. All right. Uh, there we go. And if she can get to that, that'd be well. We, we're already we got a pretty good surplus of power. We're we're all right. Uh, how is maintenance on everything over here? I could use a couple decoys. Won't fit. Yeah, it won't fit because Decoy there we go. Deployed. There we go. Uh, how are we on weapons lockers for our team over here? We're doing all right. I'll upgrade the one that's behind us, and I mean nobody's really using them all that much. I think we're okay. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna try and keep these a little bit out of the range of fire and just make sure that they're not being obstructive. Enjoy your food, Maruna. Uh, who just went down? D Andy, I got you. I got you, dude. I owe you one. There we go. Ow. Threw down a little bit of a flinch and whatever damage I could throw out there, and let's go ahead and just keep refueling this front line. Okay, good, good. Everybody's still chilling. Potatoes down on the side. I was gonna say thank you, confident. Oh, check your Okay, there we go. And we got the bonus objective too. Good stuff. Reach beast. Good stuff, man. We're killing it. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start heading out over here. I need to go and repair first. I got you. Keep firing. Keep firing. <laughs> he probably had like 20 bullets left. And this is actually, this is probably the best argument for flow that you need. Is whenever you're sitting here repairing somebody's turret and you don't have great cover. Like that would, th this Turn right here is that one little niche spot that I went, man, I kind of wish I had flow. <laughs> all right, there we go. Wave 19, got the boss uh, boss wave coming up. We'll be all right. <sighs> Time to fortify our position. So what's all destroyed on his side? A lot is. Just throw this bad boy out here. Why repair? 
Okay. He's coming over on the right side. I'm gonna I'm gonna just swing over and help him out. Well, switch. Oh, you did it. Progressive can save me 15% or more on car insurance. Uh, okay, so your turret went down, but that's okay. I've already got a fresh one back here for you. I got you, buddy. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you, buddy. <laughs> I'm I'm loving turret cost right now because that doesn't it doesn't feel as hopeless whenever you lose everything. I know, I know. I I don't know. I remember my brother doing res oh crap. I remember my brother doing research on both Geico and Progressive and he couldn't find a good rate through either in comparison to what we have. So you know you just you just kind of throw them in a bin. They they get a lot of advertising and they they, they have their commercial they have a commercial legacy at this point. Okay, I got you a good bit of ammo. I just got to back up because those drop shots, uh, they're giving me big ouchies. Like, I saw I saw that drop shot and I was like, I should back up. That would be a great... In my head, I'm like, that would be a great idea if I backed up. <laughs> he just went, yeah. And it killed me. <laughs> I'm really excited to hit wave, wave uh, or level four for these guys. I, I'm gonna. I need to spam something. Fear. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, confident. I got you in. <laughs> you're you're the one. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, what else can I build? So what's the baseline company that you can save zero with? What? The general? I don't know. <laughs> oh 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 oh. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't a that was a joke question. I don't know Jack. I don't know Jack about insurance, but uh, yeah, that's a good one. I did hear from my friend like if if he's like if I got in an accident with somebody that had the general, I would just I would just shoot them. <laughs> I'm like that that's not good, man. <laughs> Fences and buy some more weapons lockers. Decoy deployed. I mean, weapons lockers were not using all that much. Like, I'll, I'll throw one out. But yeah, I think barricades are going to be my way. They're going to be my way. I cannot pick up one. There we go. There we go. We're level four. See, he called it. I think this side could use a little bit of love with a, an extra barricade. I'll just, I'll do a nice little triangle formation here. Like that. So it's sitting in the back line. If they go that far, they're going to get hurt. Uh, and then throw these guys out. Uh, so all of this on this side. Actually, everything's kind of doing all right here. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh no, oh god. Uh, hey, Andy and Confident. Uh, <laughs> we could use some revives. Okay, I'm a bit farther out. I don't know if Confident can reach me there. Nah, Meaty, I still got time. If you want to get in the match, man, uh, hit me up. I don't know if she can reach me. If they can, if they can clear the way enough, does she? All right, she got me. Yes. All right. Yes. All right, cool. So I'm going to go and upgrade everybody to level four turrets here. Here we go. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. 26,000 on that one. Potato, your your weapon is fully upgraded. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't realize it was that low on, like, everything. But here, I got you maxed out. That burnt, like, all of our power. I love it, though. I love it. All right. He needs some barricades on his side. I'm more than confident of that. How many times have I died? Is that my, that was either my second or my third death right there. But Meaty, how you doing today, man? I will definitely get you in the next match. Which actually, I don't think... Yeah, Potato's in the queue. He's already in here. So yeah, you're the only one I have on the queue for next match. If anybody else wants to queue in, uh, exclamation mark, queue it up. Faints getting in? All right. The classic Grouch team coming back. We can just get Tulu. Like, you know, every once in a while. I know he's halfway across the world, literally. That's that's not a joke. He literally is. Um, uh, then we can, we can have the OG and get Ott in here as well. Then we'll be all good. Uh, let's go ahead and get a decoy over for Andy's side. Are you guys all good over there? Yeah, yeah, you all good. And look at that turret feed, man. Look, look at that. Mm. Doing achievements for Horde on Incon? No worries, no worries. Realistically, I should play more Incon. I just, I don't know. 
And I just I just have a really chill time just playing insane. And I think I always base it off of the matchmaking as well. Fortification I'm like, well, matchmaking has Monster Mash on insane, but we have a private lobby. I'm down with doing Monster Mash because it is the season, you know? That's when you get it. Um, I just want to have more uh, map variety. Speaking of the devil, he might appear. Hey, maybe. Okay, there we go. Okay, I was I was worried I was Turn stealing potatoes uh, turret, and he was like right there. Uh, is potato, potato's alive. Yeah, okay. Uh, confidence down right in front. I'm gonna sacrifice. Oh, never destroyed. mind. You're gonna sacrifice. All right, good luck. Bye, 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 bye. Oh no, oh no. You, I believe in you guys. <laughs> All right, I got him. Potato, I'm coming to get you. I, I can't get you. Whoever threw the shot grenade. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Happened again. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm going to revive Potato. I got this. And then the wave ends. <laughs> yeah, Tulu just being like, I think I remember counting right. It's like he's 16 hours away from Why East Coast or something like that. Yeah, the time difference is just nuts. It's so hard to get. It's so hard for me to get up, like, in games and stuff. I miss the lad. Okay. I'm going to probably just keep the level three back here. Yeah, we got two level threes and... Oh, God. And some level fours that I'm doing a really bad job of maintaining. All right, all right. Got you. Andy, I am sorry. Andy, I am sorry. Andy, I am sorry. Oh, no. Andy, I'm getting you back in. Man, that was rough. I, I, I watched all of that happen. That, that was painful. <laughs> oh. This is this is how you do it. This is how you do it. He's just covering with boom shot for a little bit. Your ammo's almost full. Uh, the decoy over here is rough, and I think we could use a barricade. At least one. How's the turret doing on his side? All right, turret on his side's doing all right. Oh, it's not working. Turret reloaded. Is something uh, oh, there we go. Got it, got it. With Ty's body in the way, it's making this a little bit more challenging to refill. All right, he's full enough. I gotta go. I gotta go get some decoys. Feeling a bit lethargic and unfocused. Yo, that's my life. Oh. All right. Well, that that hurts. Guess we got a sentry. Who knows? Watch. What if that ends up saving our butts? Like at the end, we end up pulling this off with that. Maybe, maybe um, I can be optimistic. What are you doing? I don't know, Gary. I don't know. I accidentally shuffled my selection, thinking that it would put me on barricades. I screwed up. Okay, you don't need to yell at me. I'll take that. Ah, oh, that's nineteen thousand down the drain. That's so many decoys I could have used. All right, I'm gonna refill him a little bit, and then I gotta go and refill Potato. Okay, I, I gotta use the rest of this power to refill Potato. Uh, if anybody's got spare power, throw it in the fabricator. I really need it. <laughs> oh yeah, people will end up leaving on wave zero so many times, Nova. And uh, like, unfortunately, the video is not really gonna happen. It kind of got can like, it's kind of been canned, and I ended up delaying it so long. Um, <laughs> I was talking about the biggest reasons people leave, and one of the big ones that I see that's an easy fix for Gears 5 is just let us vote on some maps. Like, even if it was the same way that, like, competitive does, like, an escalation in Gears 4, or if it was, like, a uh, core in, in Gears 4, just where you get three maps to choose from, even that would be enough. Just so, okay, like, we have an option between Glory, Diner, and Spire, for example. Like, okay, we got a bit of a choice. Good, good. Versus, like, oh, hey, we're getting Fuel Depot again. It's moved to know what I'm talking about there. <laughs> like, oh, boy, another Fuel Depot on Monster Mash. What fun. I've kind of gotten tired of this map. I think I'm going to back out. Oh, <laughs> oh, it happened again. I just watched him get stuck right in the face of the torque. Oh, get wrecked, dude. <laughs> It's just, you, when you look up and you see like a boy, a burning hot like arrow sticking out of Ty's face, it's, it's just you love to see it. 
Oh, is the baby done crying yet? Yeah, I'm doing another match after this. And no, I'm not doing a decoy build. I was actually, I'm doing a turret dedicated build, which my, the vision in my head was that we would all rally around using uh, turrets, but that's not gonna happen with the angle that we got. It's more the heavies are gonna sit here and throw down on their turrets with their level four turrets and stuff like that. And it's, still, it's still pretty solid. It's still going pretty well. Just not as glorious as I imagined it. There we go. I gotta go back over here. Yeah, I think there was map voting in Gears 3. So it's like, okay, you've already had it. Yeah, I got you, Ab. I got you, man. So what? That'll give us... That should give us a full lobby. Meaty, faint, smooth, and wab. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, I got you. I, it, it's down in memory now, smooth. I've got it figured out. Okay. So we got one more wave left. I got to just refill these baddies. Okay, for a second I didn't see Potato's second barrel, and I thought I maybe forgot him. I was gonna feel really bad. Crap, there was something I was gonna I was talking about though. If it was involving map voting or something like that. But yeah, just a little bit of variety would really help it would it would help people go for a while. That was one of my big things. My second big thing was if we could see what people's levels were for the classes they're playing as or if, if it ends up being character dedicated like there's like it's kind of looking then just let us know what level of character they are let us know what level class they're rolling with and let us know what their card layout's going to be so like Time in the menus make tinier icons of the build that they're rolling and let us see that on their emblem card so like, for example, if I hit select right now and it would say like overconfident yo, for example, and I would see maybe she's rolling speed boost, dodge, um, deposit bonus, so on and so forth. Like I could see her build and that way I know, okay, she has, she has dodge on. So I got to know she's going to be moving like this and she's going to be running the map around the map by as such, or more importantly, okay, potato and Andy both have turret discount on good. That way I know I can start rolling out uh, more turrets or oh man okay both of my heavies aren't going to be rolling turret damage so you know what maybe i'll decide instead to focus a little bit more on getting weapons lockers out because they're going to be using drop shots more. you know that just just having the in menu info like it's not even like i could say it's improving communications but like it's really just so i don't have to go and be on voice chat to tell people or i don't have to send messages to people personally saying hey what cards you rolling dog which, quite frankly, how many people actually do that in Gears 4 Horde is like 0.1, 0. 0.000001% of the community. Like, it just doesn't happen. Three left. God, yeah, COD does it. Um, My example was always, by the way, good game, guys, good game. My example was always to like like smite you know if you go into the scoreboard you see what everybody's building and that's where i see really good uh smite streamers and stuff like that like hey man i see you're building this way can i recommend you possibly go this is your next item because it'll help us with these problems that we're having on the field like that for horde is really what i want like i said i wanted to make a full video on that but it didn't pan out um this build is fun i finally got a decent glory match in it's been like a millennium since i've gotten a good glory match in so, GG's. GG's.